Hello everyone, this is Professor CC19 here, finally once again with... Hello, this is Pittsburgh Pat. So great to be back, uh, Professor CC19. We are, haven't done this in a while and I, it's long overdue. I really enjoy when we uh, have our conversations together. Yep, as do I, and today is the start of what could be something that goes on for, I'm not sure how long it'll go on, but this is our first video game full playthrough together of yes. one of the one of the classic games from the 90s called Earthbound, The War Against Gygus. Who's Gygus? Well, that will be for us to find out very soon. <laughs> oh, okay. So, but see, yes. I like to read the end of the book before I read the beginning. That's <laughs> I do that with, like, movies. On uh, Wikipedia, like, say, look at the... Uh, I read the movie summary... A Wikipedia page before um, I watch the movie. I do that especially with like horror movies because I don't like to watch them, but reading about them isn't as scary. Do you ever uh, read the funny descriptions of movies, like the? Yep. So like, I think we the did we talk about this before? We talked about it on the Dick, Dick Van Dyke about like the bad reviews of Wizard of yeah. Oz, where it's just yeah. completely misconstrued. <laughs> I just love that. I brought that up to somebody on Halloween around the corner for me there are several houses that compete with each other in decorations and I was talking to the owners of one of the houses and uh yeah cuz I um had a wicked witch hat on so I did my <laughs> best uh wicked they said oh the wicked witch of the of the what did they West. call me wicked witch of the north I know but I said no <laughs> I'm west of you so, I don't think uh, it was a North in the movie, unless it was yeah, Glinda. Yeah, Glinda was the good witch of, of the, the North, North, yeah. So, yeah, they got confused, but it was okay. But yeah, so I unfortunately... Did my... <laughs> kind of thing, and they were... Um, I, so, the was, mic did not pick up any of that, That whatever that was. Oh, that was me doing a high-pitched uh, Wicked Witch laugh? The <laughs> mic didn't pick that up? No, it was just like a big garbled, I don't know what it was. But anyway, uh, we talked about that in our Dick Van Dyke show reaction. Unfortunately, that got copyright struck a few months after. So if you got a chance to watch it before it was taken down, um, you will have heard about that. <laughs> yeah, and you're part of Internet history since that will never be on light again. No, I don't know. It's weird how oh. different uh, restrictions and things happen. It's uh, I get these weird ones now from uh, YouTube where it'll say, uh, you you can't monetize it, but we will show it. But it's restricted in viewing is restricted in certain countries, and then it has okay. a list of like fifty countries, and it's like you know, like countries I've barely heard of. And um, gotcha. I'm like, wait, you mean um, somebody in Kyrgyzstan is not going to be able to watch my <laughs> silly commentary on the Force Awakens? Oh darn, you know, like. Okay, I didn't think anybody um, in Kyrgyzstan was watching me anyway. So okay. it's fine. Uh, quite a bit of this is probably going to get edited out because it's about three minutes into the recording and we haven't actually done anything. So, Oh, go right ahead. Okay. Like, yeah. So let's, let's actually start the game that we can talk some. <laughs> All right. So this is our chance to start a new save file. And we're going to go ahead and do that. Set the tech speed to fast. And the sound setting to stereo. I don't really think it matters too much. Now, here's the first decision we get to make as a pair. What style of windows do we prefer? Do we like the mint, which makes everything like a bluish green, or strawberry pink, or banana yellow, or peanut orange? Yeah, I like the mint. Mint? Yeah, I think that's the fan favorite. So it's going yeah. to match this beautiful background of checkers. Okay. I wish that checkered boards were of things other than just red and black. <laughs> they are. Uh, I pl actually chess boards are. I have. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, I play chess once a week. And uh, anyway, uh, yeah, Train. green and white. It seems to be the tournament favorite. Oh. Less hard on the eyes, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, probably because I know. Well, uh, I know Chinese checkered boards because I have a big metal Chinese checkers board. And how it has all the different colors and the triangles and the big hexagon in the middle. That's really cool. Yeah. But yes. Very... So what should yeah. we name him? As we start the game, we have a menu where we can type in any name up to, I think, five or six letters. 
Not we don't have too much room, but there's also well, what the happens char- if you hit don't care. That's the charming don't care button. And I'll just say, are you okay with this? Do you have any names in particular that you want to use, or do we just go with the classic names of the characters? I want to see what don't care does. So yeah, I I don't have Bam. any attachment. Ness. Ness. Elliot Ness. After from the Untouchables. After N E S, the Nintendo system. N E S. Uh, His name is Ness. But yeah, I thought he it would also have to unlock Ness. <laughs> well, actually, this game kind of goes there. You'll see later. But um, <laughs> he also has other names: Alec, Roger, Will, Brian, Tyler, Lane. But we'll just stick with Ness. I like Ness. Now we have this pretty girl who likes to sing. Apparently, we see the little musical notes. I see. Her don't care name is Paula. Paula, sure. And then we have another friend who keeps walking in one direction. He is Jeff. Okay. And uh, I think this one you might be... Uh, you'll either yeah, find this more baby? funny... What? Oh, okay. It's not a baby. It's no. a, somebody in a karate uniform? Yeah, pretty much. But this one you'll either want to change more or want to stay the same the most. His default name... <laughs> Is that? <laughs> ah, that's hilarious. <laughs> it's supposed to be like the names in other cultures have different meanings, but like in our culture, they seem funny or something like that. Yeah, so they so might we'll, think that's cute. Yeah, or yeah. sacred or something. I don't know, uh, but we'll stick ah. with it, I guess. Okay. Now here's something interesting. I've never had a dog. I I had a dog before I was born in the family. But this dog, its default name is King, and that's not as iconic. So if you've mm-hmm. ever had a pet, feel free to share that, and we'll name the dog after your dog. Uh, why don't we go with Rex? Because Rex means queen, King, but it's also uh, the name of a dog that's in one of my favorite video games, Fallout New Vegas. You have to do right. several quests, and then he can become a companion as well. Rex. He's a great, uh, yeah, Rex. Just R-E-X? Yep. All right. And then lastly, well, actually not lastly, there's two more. Name your favorite homemade food. Homemade? The option. Well, uh, we have steak, I don't pie, pasta, cake, uh, eggs. Ugh. Grill and salmon. I would like to see how you ha- make salmon homemade. Do you just oh, grow hey. the fish? Do you raise yeah, the fish you from the gro- spawning spawn grounds? In your backyard and you feed <laughs> them. Uh, sushi. Sushi would be my favorite. Ooh, sushi's probably good. I think I'd go with that. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had homemade sushi, but I bet it would be pretty good because I like we, the freshly yeah, made. Yeah, my wife... My wife and I make it, and then uh, we also teach uh, kids how to cook, and we teach them how to make sushi. So uh, I was going to say, I saw a video of a couple making sushi, and it was pretty funny. It, it looked good. Mm-hmm. Like they, the, the girl was doing okay, but the guy was just kind of goofing around, and his was, was like falling no. apart. It was funny. <laughs> You're not like yeah, that, you... you know how to do it, right? <laughs> no, I never goof around. And then lastly, what is your favorite thing? In the world? This is really more looking for a verb, per se. Because we have uh, rockin', let's... hammer, I guess is questionable. Love. Uh, yeah. Actually, no, these uh, are nouns. Yeah. Gift, slime, slime. Gaming. gaming. Boxing. Boxing, rocking. Oh, gosh, uh, I don't know. This, let's say love. Yeah, that's probably a good one. I did joy for my previous playthrough. Oh, so... that's a nice one. We yeah. go the fruits of the spirit, love, joy. Next time we'll do peace. <laughs> yes, serenity. Yeah. All right. We sure that this is good to go. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, and we can now Meanwhile, finally start. Those those things probably affect your character in some way. Do they some have way. To do with your attributes or something like that. Uh, not your attributes, but uh, you'll mm-hmm. see what happens later. Some of these will come yeah, up. Okay. Maybe dialogue choices or something. Yeah, let's get started. And while these cool. cutscenes are playing, I will have a quick reminder to everyone, if you like this content that you see today and you'd like to see more, please 
leave a like and subscribe to both of our channels. We really appreciate it. Yeah, because we can do this all day. The year, the year is was 1990. Yeah, I think both of us tried to say it. The year is 1990X. Onet, a small town in Eagle Land. Not England, Eagle Land. Can you guess what Eagle Land is supposed to be, though? England. Oh, no. Eagle. Like the bald USA. eagle? USA. Yep, USA. <laughs> Ness's house. Ness's house. Yeah, that's one of those questionable. Like, with the double S, do you just stick the apostrophe at the end? I thought no. it was... Yeah, you're supposed to... No, you don't. It's apostrophe S if it's a single syllable. That's a big... I have a friend oh, who's, yeah. who's a former English teacher, and we we often talk about the apostrophe S and how it's misused and incorrectly yeah, used, I should say. The one yeah. syllable thing, I feel like there's just a lot of arbitrary rules, but yeah, I guess that makes sense. Anyway, well, so English then... is a crazy language if you have to learn it. Uh, oh, indeed. You know, it's a second language. There's so many rules. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so something shook the entire screen, uh, supposedly shook the house. If uh, you were able to were able to hear the audio and game, you'll have heard just a little bit. So uh, we're going to start. Oh, yeah, you don't have audio, but I mean, like, if the people can hear, because I have a little bit of game audio. Oh, uh, OK, cool. So, so uh, the, the lights have turned potted on. Plants. Check the potted plants. Oh, you always have to check the potted plants, right? Do we talk to them or check them? If we talk to them, what happens if they talk back? <laughs> yeah, talk. So then you know you're in a fantasy world, right? No, no it just says, who are you own. talking to? Yeah. So, but You'll check see. potted plant. Yeah, let's check Maybe it. Maybe it gives you a description. No problem, no problem here. Up, oh, just a plant. Nothing to see here, folks. And for the record, this okay. is the Nintendo Switch re-release, where you don't actually have to open this menu to check. You can just press the button on the top left. Um, controller or the top of the blue controller. That saves some time and effort. So we're going into this pink room and we're going to talk to... Your sister. Hey, yep, it's our sister. Hey, bro, did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? Uh, what sound? <laughs> yeah, because you don't have That's sound. That's it. That's it. He <laughs> That's doesn't answer. Safe. Like a typical, like, older brother, he's just like, Whatever. I'm I'm just oh, Ness, is a, Ness is a silent protagonist, so oh, he doesn't have okay. have any text himself. Oh, that's okay. So let's uh okay. talk to the next best person, our mom. Or listen. What was that noise? Ness, don't seem scared. Are you nuts? <laughs> and now you want to go check it out? Oh, okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I asked you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. <laughs> she's very That's permissive. That's the great thing about her mom. She's he's she's into acceptance. You know, she just she knows her son, and so she's resigned to, you know, whatever he's going to do. And that's and you, that's a and really you know, enlightened attitude. Yeah, yeah, very true. You can now see his clothes: his iconic uh, blue and yellow striped shirt and the red baseball ah, cap. I he, love baseball caps. I do too. I wear them all the time. Never leave the house without one. And we can talk to oh, our dogs. Rex. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? They sleep whenever they want. All right, you ready to go outside? All right, should we take the dog with us? I guess we can't. Uh, he doesn't seem willing to go with us. He's asleep. Check the mailbox. Check the mailbox? Uh, no problem here. No problem there. All right, so we can talk to some people. I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. Whoa. Meteor. So that's the sound we heard. Ah. And yes, the road is closed here. There's some police officers on the way. ODEP police are infamous for closing roads if something is going on. We are going for the world record. World record of road closures? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Don't panic. It's just a, what? Meteorite what? that, who? Who? Fell. Who I just want to, what? Go home. 
I like how he interjects uh, questions in the middle of his sentences. Interjections. Yes. I still I do have Schoolhouse Rock, actually. On I DVD. do too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you, you hear, hear the Big Bang? Big bang? No, because that was like millions of years ago, but the remnants of the echo are still in the night sky you if could, you want to detect you, them. You could say, I heard a Big Bang. It's not the Big Bang, kid. I think a meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. Well, that's not going to happen because we're going to go there first, right yeah. after we go to our neighbor's so, house. Let's run faster than that person. All right, this is our neighbor's house, and this kid whose hair is his hair is covering his eyes. Whoops. There we go. See, he's got the sheepdog haircut. Oh yeah, a little high. Pokey, my brother, ran out of here to chase after a police car. But he he's said, "Pokey, so he's not going to get there first. Oh Picky. yeah, I guess this his brother's picky. Picky, you should uh, stay home. So I'm watching our house." Pick Mom and Dad aren't okay. home yet. They went out to an elegant restaurant. Good for them. So, fun fact. Oh, this is having sushi. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, elegant. What, elegant, what, I think, like, fine dining, candlelight, and tablecloths. I don't know about sushi. What was your f f fun fact? Uh, the fun fact was... Oh, he swore. The... He said, but... Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home pronto. First of all, that's a that's proper language, and secondly, my name's not Pronto. <laughs> well, I was gonna say the fun <laughs> fact is the brothers are Picky and Pokey, but in yeah. this game, Pokey's the older brother. He's um, canonically referenced to be quite heavy, and in oh. a different version of this game, and I think the sequel, Mother Three, he was renamed to Porky, and that that may have been a bit too far. So. The sequel is named Mother 3? I think so. This is... That's it. That's interesting. Because this is the American re-release of the Japanese game, which is the Mother series, which is why, like, the prequel to this game is called um, Earthbound Beginnings or Mother Beginnings, something like that, which is also on this uh, Nintendo Switch. A meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town, and you kids are wandering around, and I'm hungry. I hate my Wait, job. The sharks, like, from West Side Story? Like, the um, gang? If that's the reference, then kind of yes. Not Where exactly, but similar. That's funny. Sharks it's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you, will it? Another very permissive adult. Yeah, I like how the game is like, do this by, say, by saying, don't do this. Exactly. Right? When saying, you tell someone they yeah. can't do that, it's like encouraging them to do it more. Yeah. So if the target audience is 10-year-old boys playing this game, then obviously they're going to go mm -hmm. to the hilltop. And notice this little house down here, that little purple yeah. thing with the... Rooster, I guess that's a lightning rod up above, or is it just the spinning rooster that they used to have? Yeah, like a wind, a weather vane, I think they call it. Oh, yeah. It. Well, just take note to of that. tell you which it... direction the wind is coming from. So that's pretty cool, and it's buried in the trees. It's, so... it's buried. It's somewhat hidden. So we'll come back yeah. to it later and see what happens. We have to go into the trees. And there Continuing up the hilltop. That entices you to go because there's a present up there. Hey, you. Don't you know what time it is? It is 10.57 a.m., and it shouldn't be this dark out. Oh, yeah. Is there a time in the game? No, there's not. It's, okay. it's before okay, that. So there are no time-dependent things. Open yeah, this, present. This opening scene always takes place at night, so... Ness opened the present. There's a bread roll inside. Ness takes it, and we can access that via our menu, Goods. We have our ATM card already and a bread roll. ATM card? Yep, that's that's the modern technology, yep. The wow, 95. it is the 90s. That's awesome. So we, if we hit bread roll, we have this little menu that says use, then we'll use the item. We can give it to someone else in our party, which is no one at this point. We can get rid of it, or we can ask for help, and it tells us what the item is and does. 
So a bread Let's roll. Do that for the first one at least, yeah. Bread roll. When eaten, you recover about 30 HP. So it's a health recovery where, item. Okay, so where are HP? Um, if you up, like, hit inventory menu. Yeah. Uh, that's the have, that's the B button. It's at the bottom. So we have twenty dollars. We have thirty hit points. And what's PP? Psychic points. Psychic points. So we're psychic. Yep. We have another guy here. What looks like either a bad haircut or a pirate hat. <laughs> I'll go with pirate hat. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was hey, thought so too. Especially with this character, you'll love this character. Hey, Ness. Hey, buddy. Hi, ya buddy. A meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you... Oh, uh, whoops. I almost told you about my... Uh, the way, Ness, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job. You know, I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Billboard if, guy, huh? If eating garlic was all it took to be stronger... <laughs> Yeah, All what right. does that mean exactly? Like, okay, I I eat garlic, therefore meteorites. I have resistance to meteorite uh, damage. Well, when something. you read this guy's sign, A, you'll probably love the character more, and B, it'll explain a lot. His sign, Treasure Hunter. This is Liar Exaggerate's house. Ah! <laughs> Liar so, exaggerates house. We nice. all exaggerate from time to time, but he takes it to a new level. <laughs> What's that glowy thing? I think that's the meteorite. It looks kind of nice. like a pizza. That mm. meteorite looks different than usual. Thank you for pointing that out. It's strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Ooh. It smells like pizza. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> a pizza meteorite? Pizza planet? Oh, wait, wasn't that from... Um, Toy Story, Pizza Planet, the little van that they always had as a cameo. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, that kid looks a little nervous. All right, so we have some more officers. Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? Are we friends with our neighbors? Uh, uh sure. And you live in the house next to his. I see. Shh. That's all that guy okay. has to say. <laughs> okay. And then this guy's my personal favorite. Clear out. Get out of my way. Clear out. Get out of my way. Clear out. Get out of my way. Clear out. Out. <laughs> Whoops. Clear out. Of way out. Get my. I like that. Whoops. My mistake. Uh, I meant get out of my way. That's clever. I say that from time to time. I don't know why. Of way out. Get my. It's like, I'm, I'm so upset. I just can't think anymore. Of way. Get out my. And of oh, course, I know. butchered it trying to read it fast. So this is I'm our neighbor. And you can see from the side what what it, it, they're talking about. Yeah. Hey, Ness. Don't be rubbernecking. What exactly does that mean? Uh, that's when you're like, uh, the police are like, uh, say you're say you're driving in the car in your car, and the police have somebody pulled over. Instead of looking at the road ahead of you and just driving normally, you turn your head to check out oh. what's going on on the side of the road. That's rubbernecking. Okay, thank you, because I, I understand that now. You're hitting yeah. the cops. I mean the officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Which is funny, because the other cop said that Pokey was the one driving him nuts. Well... Since Pokey is portrayed as enjoying uh, food, what if we gave him the bread roll? Oh. I don't know if we can even do that, but let's see. Maybe we should uh, save. Bread the... roll. Give? No, we can only give it to people in our own only party. Party members? Got it. Yeah. It's but uh, we'll, s we'll see what happens later. You can see the meteorite right there is another cop who looks a little different and a guy in an orange jacket, but we can't reach them yet. So there's nothing better to do than to head back home. Oh, so that's as far as you can go. At this point, yep. Gotcha. Pokey told us to go home anyway. Anyway. 
you can tell that um, there's a lot of flowers and bushes around here. So otherwise, this is a pretty peaceful area, aside from meteorites landing. I'm s assuming that doesn't happen every day. Well, and we can read this south to the suburbs of Onet. That's the town we live in. Onet. And we notice our mom is back outside. Welcome home, Nest. It's Thanks. not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. Should we say yes or no? Sure. We've explored everything we can, right? We can't go south. We can't go yeah. to the meteorite. So we got to wait until something happens. Ooh. Later that morning. night. It's not morning yet. This is a long night. <laughs> the long night of the meteorite. Cool rhyme. Thank you. <laughs> I was trying to do my announcer voice. Oh, yeah, I have one. I did it what, the other day when we were testing the orator voice. But yeah, in yeah. this in this scene, you can't really hear it because the audio, but there's a pounding at the door in this scene, and it's in a very specific rhythm. Wow. So let's like see a, what our sister has to say now. Like, da -da 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 -da. shaving a haircut? Yeah, you know, when somebody knocks and goes, dun, 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 and then you knock twice. Dun, dun. Oh, that's what that's called? Yeah, it's an old, uh, like, 1910, 1920s song. Really? Well, yeah. let's see here. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. That's what, is that what the knock is? It's not really is annoying. It it's just, oh, it's not that. It's just like a random, bum, 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 okay. bum, 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 and yeah. Okay, so we're going to gotcha. go back into our sister's room because what kind of brother would we be if we didn't steal something from our sister's room? <laughs> Instead of answering the door while she's distracted, let's go open her present. <laughs> yep, because I never noticed the present in here, and it is. Let's open the present. There is a cracked bat inside. So now we have a weapon. It's cracked, so it's it's not very strong, but it's our first one, and we can go into equip weapon cracked bat it goes offense from two up to six whoa tripled our effectiveness very nice if our that's defectiveness the first one, we get our uh effectiveness yeah <laughs> but say, if, it's a uh, that's yeah if that's the first weapon we get then the other weapons must be much better Orders yeah. of magnitude yeah higher of course but yeah with considering the fact that it is a cracked bat we could call it its defectiveness yeah that's true so let's S talk to sally again you mean our mom oh she looks like sally from the peanuts to me the hairstyle oh yeah from only without like the blue dress yeah not the dress just the hair i just realized sally and lucy and peanuts both wore blue my land? Who could be knocking at the door at this time of oh, night? Oh, I was wondering what she's like, my land. Like, did you mean to say my lad? Like, my son? Okay, oh, I get no. it. Oh, it's an Would you answer it? Would you answer it? My child answering the door at a suspicious would, time would of night. Would you answer it? Maybe it's a rhetorical question. Like, would you? Would you? Answer? Well, no, we have like, to, but my favorite part here is I kind of found a little glitch because when you... In this scene, she follows you over to the door. So she's not far behind, so she'll protect you. But the funny thing is, she'll follow you back this way. And if you go on the other side of the table, there's a way stuck. to get her so there's a way to get her stuck over there. I'm not sure if we have to go upstairs and do it. It's just funny. Yeah, she'll uh, follow okay. us over here. And then if I go like this, and I she go down starts, here. She just, she, just, she just keeps walking in place into the chair. <laughs> nice. It also looks like one of the peanuts uh, dance from the uh, the uh, Christmas special. Oh yeah, when they're dancing yeah. and not really putting on a play. Maybe our dog yeah. will protect us. We'll see. I don't know. It's our neighbor. Oh, thank goodness it's not an alien from the uh, meteorite. <laughs> hey, listen to what I've got to say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed, oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. That's why I do this, because he continues to say this line even though she's not in the screen. She's supposed to be on screen. And I like how he laughs after he says it. So he's Because being it's supposed to be the middle of 
It's the middle of the night. Why would she be looking yeah. beautiful? Her hair would be messed up from oh, being in the bed. Oh, so her hair looks like Sally from the Peanuts, so he's making fun of it. But You're looking but lovely yeah. as usual. <laughs> Who, who's he calling ma'am? The dog? She's, she's not here now. That's funny. Anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly. That sounds important. It sounds like we could maybe go back up there now to deal with the sharks. You know the sharks, they're the local ruffians. And they were really going wild. Suddenly I noticed that Picky was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. Of course it didn't not. didn't have anything to do with the strange meteorite. When my dad gets back, I know I'm going to get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? Yes. Sure. Okay, good what buddy. What you say Let's... no? Then the game uh, If you say... Actually, no. If you say no, Koki will say, if you don't help me, I'll say something that'll cut you like a knife. And then if you still oh. say no, if you still say no afterwards, he'll say, oh, okay, I know nothing I could say could hurt you. Oh, okay, that's a nice way. That's a nice way to retreat from that. Okay, good buddy, let's blow this popsicle stand. Talk about retro. Yeah. Well, Before we go... Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree? Who's ma'am? We still don't have her. She's still not here. <laughs> and uh, now she's and replicated her... into two animals. Two, two. <laughs> That's our sister. That's like completely random that they're stuck to each other there. Well, I noticed the or, resemblance. Or maybe she's supposed to spawn there and I just kind of ruined her. That's fine. I hope we can talk to one or the other now. Yeah, I hope we don't need them later on, huh? I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. Okay, so that's our sister's line. You might get hungry along the way, so here's a cookie. So she gives us another food item. Nice. You can also leave anything behind, anything you don't need, with me. Do you uh, want me to hang on to something? Not now. Yeah. Hang on to the Be careful. that we just stole from you. But yeah, our sister, believe it or not, is our storage through the game. She's because our, back, our pack mule. Our extra, because if you look closely at our goods, we only have this limited amount of space, and we don't, we can't stack items, like we can't have two bread yeah. rolls and occupy the same space times two. So, so we can only fit mechanic. so much stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So the anything left management over... is going to be part of this game. You can't just oh, absolutely and hold it. Absolutely. But anything left over, we have to call our sister and she'll hold on to it. Who? Cool. And our mom. Oh no, that's oh no. That's the sister's line. Oh, it's my not it's my line now. Psst. Okay, if you say yes, she'll ask you to store stuff. If you say no, she'll say, What the hey? Well, see you. <laughs> uh oh. We're supposed to talk to the mom here. Oh no! I, broke I don't it. even. I, I think that I might have broke it. Mm. Okay, let's go back upstairs and see if it resets. Yeah, it. do a cutscene and see what happens. There we go. The mom is the mom is not supposed to be there. She's supposed to be over here. They're not glued. Well, that's interesting. Anyway. That's that's a first for me. I broke the game in episode one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll be finding. This is a very interesting and trippy game at times so we'll see hopefully a few of those i know that the dog is unreliable but you should take rex along the cracked bat in tracy's room could help out at a time like this no matter what anyone says you're a courageous strong boy you'll you're my very own natural born fighter you'll go far remember to go for it but i think you should change out of your jammies before you leave we're going to change back to our clothes there we go so our mother is encouraging us to be violent. That's very interesting. <laughs> she says, go Here, for take it. Take this cracked bat, my natural born fighter. I'm so <laughs> proud of you. Go, <laughs> go be bold and adventurous, implying using this cracked bat against things. That's interesting. Well, we will be. Okay. We will be. Definitely like in the his... 90s, yeah. I like now that the light is on, you can see this nice shade of blue that his bedspread is. It's like one of my favorite shades of blue, cerulean. It's a fun word to say too. Did you ever see the? Did you ever watch the X Files? Ah, uh, no. But let's get our character. Dog. There was a character who was a psychic, and he was trying to hypnotize, sort of hypnotize, 
uh, these police officers. He was in their custody and he kept saying the word cerulean blue. Look at the sky. It's a certain shade of blue, cerulean, cerulean. And he used that's, that as kind of his that's interesting. phrase. Yeah, to distract the policeman. I, it was very cool. I would say the sky is sky blue, though. <laughs> I agree. I think it was, like you said, just the, the word and the cadence yeah. of the word. It's a very satisfying word. Yeah. yeah. So we do want our dog to go with us. But he says, I guess I have no choice. Let's go. <laughs> I'm a dog. Rex. I have no choice. In Rex matter, joins I you. Must go. And we talk to Pokey. All right, you go out in front, and I'll follow at a safe distance. Let's get going. Yeah, he's the real brave one. Mm -hmm. So now that he is in our party, you'd think maybe we could give him the red roll, but no. And then lastly, dogs we... Don't eat... dog do... Dogs aren't allowed to eat bread in this, I guess? Uh, no, I meant to, to pokey. But yeah, I think it's time for us to leave. Or not, because now the phone is ringing off the hook. <laughs> Ness answered the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Have you? What was the saying? Work to exhaustion when you're young. Because you can't do as much work when you're older, maybe? That's that's true, but like I always heard of it was like either enjoy your youth or don't grow up too fast. So this is indeed a very odd saying. It's Just almost remember, like I... there'll be time to sleep when you're dead, you know, or something like that. Oh, and I've heard that oh, one. Yo, boy. That's dark. You've never heard that one? Yeah, it is uh, kind of dark, but it's, you know. I've heard it before. Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. For the record, our dad on the phone is the save point. So if we call him, he'll save the game. Ah. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Do you have your oh, ATM God. card? Yes, we noticed that. Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of the hero at least. Wahaha! <laughs> Slam! Beep. So we have um, fifty bucks. Um, we still have twenty, but we have to use like an ATM to get the other thirty. Ah, uh, okay. So we're and now points. going out. Now going outside, you can see we have something different here at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, there's something in the road. That is a bird. Holding and over here, a there's another dog. <gasps> a cyclone. But this is an this is an enemy dog. This is the runaway dog, and this is okay, what so the cracked bat is for. So now we're in combat mode. Yes, we are. There we are. Bash. We can bash, or we can psychically attack. Apparently. All right. So as you can see, we hit bash. Ness did damage to the dog. The dog wasted its turn by saying it made a, lo a loud, piercing howl. And our uh, dog, Rex, also could attack for us, so he helps in battle. Yeah. And also in, I mean, our companion attacked as well, right? Uh, he did not. Pokey, Pokey never actually oh. does any damage, but he has a number of very funny lines, so it was Pokey thought to himself. Oh, uh, okay. Runaway Dog is making a loud, piercing howl. Rex does three damage. Pokey tried to edge closer, and we missed. Our attack doesn't always connect. So it's showing Rex... our stats at the bottom, but we don't see the dog's stats. No, but they ha every yeah. enemy has a set number of HP, set stats, uh, offense and defense, and speed. Speed is the but odds we... of whether they can dodge your attacks. But we don't know what they are. like. And he just did six damage to us with his, barking at uh, with his biting attack. We're hitting him pretty hard, and he's not going down. Rex charged forward and he dodged. Seven, and that should be it. Runaway dog became tame. It didn't, it wasn't defeated, it just became tame. We beat it into obedience. <laughs> oh, that actually sounds kind of bad. Ness that gained four bad. XP. Ness's level is now two, so we gain stats by leveling up by winning in battles. Offense went up by one, 
and our max HP went up by one. TP oh, up okay. by two. So and we realized that we realized power of life up alpha. That's our first psychic ability that allows us to regain health. Life up alpha. So as we proceed up the hill, the same route we just came from, we'll encounter some different enemies. And the crow is one of them. But it, the crow's holding cheese in its mouth, right? Just like no, it's just his, it's just oh, his giant it. beak. Oh, uh, okay. This it's is the spiteful crow. So let's say we're in combat. Are we able to access our uh, health? regenerating uh goods or our psychic ability mm -hmm. while we're yes yeah, we I can so goods okay psi gotcha. goods we can defend which means we don't do anything but we take less damage auto we fight means away. we don't have to press any buttons or we could run away which means that we don't gain any xp but we just leave the fight it doesn't always work it works more effectively the later the we are in the battle so more turns have gone by i see so we're gonna go PSI yeah. recover life up, life up alpha. Okay. But we're not gonna get a chance to use it because our dog won the battle for us. Oh, okay. So we gained. Enemy. Oh. We gained a little bit, There's but a not cookie. enough to level up. Yes, Inside we got. The enemy. <laughs> Inside the present, the enemy left a present. Spike for uh... pros will always drop a cookie. Oh, good. That's how they're programmed. That's good. I like that. Continuing with like all the cop crows. Spiteful crows are basically like experience, free free experience and cookies. Well, yeah. The uh the runaway dogs are a little bit better for experience. Spiteful yeah, crows are okay. Harder. The spiteful crows are actually kind of funny because um they have a uh they always drop cookies, but they can also steal your cookies back. That's one of their battle commands. Nice. If we go to the left, we can see the other enemy, which is a snake. snake. The coil snake. Oh, nice. Unfortunately, he is the worst enemy in the game, being the weakest. Alright, we're going to heal this time. Yeah, we're down to seven here. We don't want to die here. We haven't <laughs> even saved the game. I keep trying to heal, and our dog keeps winning. But yeah, you notice that it, only, uh, it was only worth one XP. And that's not you, much. Can you heal outside combat? Yes, we can. That's exactly what I'm okay. going to do. Life up okay. alpha. Maxed oh. out. We're back up to 31. Whoa! Life up alpha is really powerful. Yep. This early in the game, it is. I'm going to go by Mr. Exaggerate. Or Exaggerate. Yeah, the billboard man. No police. Yep. Mm -hmm. And hello. Oh, Oh, Our dog is saying, if I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. But and that our dog was is the left translation us. of a woof. Yep. In dog now, one, thing, cool. one thing I want to try to do, I was going to say, is we can go back up there. There might be enemies that spawn up here. I'm trying to get at least one more so we can get to level three before we proceed onward. Because we're kind of weak we're now. We only have three. Uh, I'd rather not There's... play you. Again, the snake's only worth one. Yeah, so Pokey acted kind of innocent. Up. Pokey acted innocent. Pokey is using Ness as a shield. <laughs> uh, the coil snake wrapped around us and it caused us to lose our turn. Pokey complained. Pokey apologize. Sorry, Mr. Snake. <laughs> oh, he... I always thought he was apologizing to us, but it's even funnier, the fact that he apologized to the snake. <laughs> I mean, why... Yeah, why would the snake be randomly attacking us? I guess because we were in its path or something. Mm, I want there to be another dog, but we don't have our dog with us, so we're weaker now. So I think I'm just going to go back up to the hilltop. And this is where we actually find out some significant game information. Yay! Caution. We also see there another are, person there. There are still lots of fires burning here and there. 
It's hot. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's a snake down there. He'll want to Good follow hill. us, but he can't get up the hill. It's picky. What? Oh, what? You woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're okay, at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Geez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. <laughs> and even though Picky is the little brother, he should be the big brother, because he carries his weight. He actually will help us by attacking a little bit. Nice. Ness, do you hear that? Uh, do you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? Just imagine that you hear it. Sure. Yes. Yes, you can hear it. Prepare for time travel. Ooh, so time travel sounds like a bee buzzing around. That's good to know. Well, it's me. not really. It's the fact that there's this buzzing creature that is time traveling. Ah. It's appearing from the portal inside the bee, right? A bee I am. Not. Not. <laughs> Sorry. I'm from 10 years in the future. Indeed. And? Where we say the... not. What? Where everyone says not. Oh, yeah. 10 years in the future, yes. <laughs> which is all devastation. In the future, all this devastation. Gygus, uh, you asked who that was. The universal cosmic destroyer sent Alk the horror <laughs> of eternal darkness. Oh, my gosh. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. Very philosophical. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This, I believe... Gygus' monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. Well, you just told me it was ten years till destruction, so how can I not be anxious? Thanks. Don't be anxious. Oh, by the way... The, the fate of the world is on you. Don't, no pressure. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> you have much work to do, Ness. Just that makes me anxious. Did you listen to what I told you? Always say yes, because no. if you say no, Please he repeats repeat. it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thank you for listening to my long story. I also use that line a lot when I when someone, I well like when I'm talking to someone who doesn't realize they're going on for too long. I'm like, thank you for listening to my long story. <laughs> I like the fact that that was a long story because it was so many times in um, in these types of games, there will be dialogue options and you'll pick one and then this character will tell their whole backstory. Oh yeah, it's like. God, come on, that was like five minutes, you know, like... Well, so. this character, the B, or the not B, Buzz Buzz, is definitely one of the more long-winded characters. Most of the others are rather concise. Well, it's exposition, I get it. He has to give you the you are as ex You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. But how, do, how does that work? If you expected me to be that way, how is it exceptional? Yeah, yeah. Uh, formidable or um, uh, some word like that might have been a better yeah. choice. A paradox, perhaps. Buzz Buzz now joins you. We have a oh, futuristic futuristic bee. And no, we can't oh. give him the bread roll either. Cool. Ness, it looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. Uh, and a girl. I'm not one of those three, am I? Or am I? Here's a question mark. Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Please, Pokey. my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Yeah, go home, Pokey. Eat some bread rolls. Notice this. Notice the snake is still here. Well, he's all that. Get this... Well, Does... the snake is just watching everything. Like, oh, maybe, maybe yeah. I shouldn't watch. 
Maybe I'm butting in. But by the when time we walk down around here, he's gone. It's like, nah. There's four of them now. That I'm outnumbered. It's not, no, actually, no. It's not that, that's a good way of thinking of it, but it's actually yeah. a game mechanic. Because after that scene with the meteorite, there's not supposed to be any enemies spawning in. And then also, um, there's another mechanic where if you walk off screen, the enemies can sometimes just despawn. Right, right. Because again, it's an old game. Mm. Now, we're almost back to our house. Everything is hunky-dory. We're going to return our neighbors back to their house. What do you think is going to happen? Uh, I... The sharks. The sharks are going to come. Ka-chow! Or kapow, or whatever that is. <laughs> it's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gygus' plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but a useless insect. Prepare for an ultimate what? insult. I'll stomp you hard. Whoa, it's battle the time. The Starman Jr. blocked the way. I love this oh, battle oh. background. I'll bet he's probably pretty tough. You'll notice that, like, all the pretty colored swirls in the background, a lot of enemies have very unique battle backgrounds, and there's, like, uh, over a hundred different kinds of them in the game. It's it's incredible, the art style. And this was but made yeah. in the 80s? This was in 95, it was released. 95? Oh, that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. And also, you can't really hear it, but the enemies have different um, Music. Uh, songs in the background, too, yeah. So all we can really do is bash, but remember, we have the 10 years from the future time-traveling insect Buzz Buzz, the great Buzz Buzz with us. I think he'll be able to carry this fight, and you'll see why. Buzz Buzz try PSI so. Shield Sigma. And yeah, we have Greek letters in this game. Picky attacks. Picky got a smash attack for two damage. Starman Jr. Yeah, tried also PSI. Got, like a different font. Oh yeah, it said Smash. Yeah. But, it was like cartoony yeah, type of font. Yeah, it was cool. cool. Smash attack is based on the guts of a character. That's a stat we haven't seen come up yet. But the higher your guts are, the higher chance you will get higher damage on an attack called a smash, or that you will stay alive even if you otherwise would have died in a turn. Uh, and then also, you notice the Starman used PSI 3s on us, but it did nothing because we had the shield from BuzzBuzz. BuzzBuzz Buzz. Buzz Buzz charged forward for 127 damage. Oh my gosh! 127 and Starman is still up? All right. We are definitely uh, the outclassed here. The shield makes them disappear. So he can't really hurt us. Yeah. Buzz Buzz this is will a demonstration, alternate. Like, fight. Yeah. Just show it's us the, like, um, how strong the future is. Picky got another smash attack. <laughs> he is on guard, so he did not do anything with that turn. So he's he's just waiting. For, yeah. He's just waiting for Buzz Buzz to hit him again for 63 damage, and he is just defeated. Half of what he had the other time. Buzz Buzz did mm -hmm. 127, but I'm going to credit that win to Picky and his double smash for three damage combined. <laughs> Either way, we get lots of experience points. 16, and we get to level 3. Offense up by 2, Guts up by nice. 1, Vitality nice. up by 1. You'll see that in okay. just a second. IQ up by 1. Wow. L luck up by 1. Luck wow. has to do with various um, luck-based items doing what they're supposed to do effectively, I think. And notice maximum HP went up by 14, which is a lot. Wow. That's the vi that's the vitality. If your vitality goes up, your HP goes up by a lot, and our PP goes uh, up by three. Got it. So vitality is similar to Constitution in Dungeons and Dragons, and yeah. luck is luck. And um, that's and then okay. Cool. When we get to our got later it. party members, particularly Jeff, who we named at the beginning, he's the third party member. IQ and luck are pretty much the most important for him. So yeah, he like Phew. spell cat. Well, actually, no, he's an item user. He uses items more often. Gotcha. So he's our guy. I was taking a big chance there. Actually, yeah, you're right. 
He came from ten years in the future to kill me, so he can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygus, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gygus' influence over the evil in their minds. If this, uh, it is the truth, so listen. Yeah, that got deep all of a sudden. Yeah, so Gygus can control animals. That's interesting, or at least influence them to become hostile. Yep. And we can just kind of go behind their house, but there's nothing really back here. And we can't go any deeper than here behind yeah, our so house. We're never going to get to that buried house with the weather vane, huh? And He's notice like the road is open now. But if oh, we cool. decide to go this way. Hey, Ness, so you're hey, just going to wander around wherever home. you please. Exactly, exactly. Don't you think we should focus on getting Picky home? And it's not about Picky. It's just Pokey is scared and he wants to go home, right? Pokey and Picky. Because there are... Wait. Yeah. Well, P yeah, Picky's Pick part of our party, right? They they both are right now. But Picky's more effective. Also, they have a cactus as a house plant. And I mean a straight nice. up big cactus. Nice. I like, like the tiny a cactus. Succulent. Yeah. I like those better, though. Do you have one? Uh, no, but uh, I probably should get one. Notice I the art design here. Yeah. The art design of the father, pretty cool with the mustache and the spectacles. Art design of the mother, kind of frightening. <laughs> it's like the Pringles, man. She's got all teeth. But yeah, you want to know another funny name? Or oh, I say the yeah, canonical? that's really odd. The canonical <laughs> name of these characters? Uh, what are they? The father's name is Aloysius. Mm. Gotta love that name. But the mother's name is Lardna. I'm not joking. That's hilarious. So so we know where uh, Pokey got his genetics then. Yeah. I see. That's the implication. Well, yeah. Actually, you come to think of it later in the game. Something where will Sam actually bring... Hill of you boys been? I reckon, so, I, I reckon there's an accent here. Exactly. So, such a southern thing to say. But yeah, actually, believe it or not, there's something later in the game that actually throws into question. Actually, no, 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 never mind. I completely ignore that, what I just said. <laughs> uh, I'll try. I have to think of a suitable punishment and talk to the father. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. They go upstairs. He follows them. There's a sound effect that happens in the game, and we uh, won't talk about what happens. Oh, uh, why? Because we're not supposed to, Parents don't do that anymore. Yeah, really. Yeah. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. Wow, rude. You're not supposed to actually say that to the person. I'd be happy if you left. I'm tired okay, of your family. But first, I'm going to walk around your house and see if there are any objects that I can take with me. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, that's probably that's the thing to do after he says something like kind that. kind of game that you have. Yeah. Tired of your family living next door. This guy is kind of a, kind of a jerk. We've oh, loaned your, well. we've loaned we your father a, a lot of money. About father. Well, maybe that's where he keeps feeding money into our ATM from. <laughs> our father is a debtor. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. <laughs> but because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. You have a cactus, sir. You do not live in poverty. Look at this rug. They, this rug looks yeah, very expensive. They also have a street lamp in their uh, left-hand <laughs> corner there. Yeah, they so do. I, I, think, don't know. I think, yeah, loaning and they one's were out money out in the hope of getting repaid with interest to the point mm -hmm. where you go into poverty? I don't think it they're sounds... in poverty. They were out in an oh, elegant like restaurant, World too, Bank. remember? What's that? They were out in an elegant restaurant, too. I don't think they're so poor. Maybe they had a coupon. What mm -hmm. were you going to say about World Bank? Oh, I was just being trying to be funny. I said, uh, if you loan money to, to with the hope of getting the interest back... To the point where you're you have you are in poverty, isn't that kind of like the World Bank? Like, uh, isn't that what I'm they not do? really I'm not familiar <laughs> with it, but it's okay. Uh, okay, there are a lot of debtor nations in the world. Let's put it that way. Yeah, that's very true. 
No. Uh, the, what was the probably never the, pay even, back the interest? That's even the thing is too much too lenient with the children. Well, he's not too lenient when he talks to other people's children. He's pretty like yeah. berates us. I was gonna say uh, I think there's a Bible verse too where it's like neither borrower no, nor lender be, or like the borrower's servant to the lender or something like that. I don't know about the Bible. I know that's in Hamlet. That's what Polonius uh, says to uh, Laertes. I've, and he's going like to go to Paris. I feel like yeah. it's probably a proverb. It does sound like a proverb. If it's not, it should be. And it's probably, you know, I mean, obviously Shakespeare took a lot from yeah. from uh, the Bible. So Yeah, and it's probably a proverb in different cultures, too. Well, well I would imagine. Nice, it's good advice. Yeah. Nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. Uh-oh, woman versus insect. This isn't going to go well. I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. A dung yeah, he beetle. could. Were they in Egypt or something? I don't know, but he can fight an uh, enemy alien Starman invader. But he has problems with this housewife. Well, he doesn't want to kill her because you know. Yeah, just a little bit of pent up, up hostility, and um, well, let's just say, even if it is against Buzz Buzz, I'd rather it be on him and not me. Yeah, he can take the aggro. Well, actually, he can't, but... Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. I was much weaker than I thought. See? Oh, no, we're going to lose our party member. Our strongest party member. So you must now this begin your first, adventure. The first death of a party member in the game. Yeah, the kids just went upstairs. See you. Nah, that's not how he ends. Oh, I just remembered. Oh, I just remembered. I'm fine. Listen to my final words. Mm -hmm. To defeat Gygus, your own power must unite with the Earth. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Onet. It is called Giant Step. Because it's our first big step on the journey. Hmm. Go there first. Do you understand? Do we understand what he's telling us? Yeah, we have a destination to go to. Again, even if you, if you say no, he'll repeat it also. All I right. A quest. You are a very intelligent young man, and... Oh, the pain. Everything is getting dark. Uh, before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the sound stone. You can record the melodies from the eight your sanctuary locations into mm. this stone. It is an awesome item. Seems pretty cool. Yeah. By the way, I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear the story one more time? If you say no. yes, no. If you say yes, oh. he'll stay alive a little bit longer. But no, we really don't. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like you were pleading to say no. No. Good. It's already dawn outside. Oh, the night's finally going into daytime. But it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Ah. Uh. Death rattle. Ness got the soundstone. So it's Bye, in buzz, inventory. buzz. Yep, it is. Good. And it is a essential item, which means it's always going to be in our it. inventory. Yeah. Yep. If you try to, then, well... You really don't want to do that. You shouldn't throw the soundstone away. Mm -hmm. That's good. Let's go back upstairs you to visit the two can't brothers. You can't accidentally do it. Like if you were accidentally trying to throw yeah. something adjacent out, you can't do it. And um, this will lead more to evidence of what I was going to say earlier. Whoops. We talked to the chair. My dad really got <laughs> after me. He said I get no dessert for the rest of the decade. <laughs> <laughs> well, the late the 90s one. did have some amazing desserts, so he's going to miss out. Oh, I bet. And the other one says, I don't want to look at the meteorite anymore. Um, based on the sound effect, there was actually a different release of this game where one of them says, my butt hurts. So that was <laughs> what was implied. Yeah. But it, so they, they changed it. Got yeah. hand, they changed hand it to just the, Yeah, they kept the same, same sound effect, but I actually didn't know about that no dessert for a decade line, so that's new. Interesting. And we have some nice little music, and it's daylight again. Doo, 
We can continue finally to the south, to the suburbs of Onet. We can go this road now. Now we're all alone again. No party members. Yep. We have to find some new ones. What's the Obviously first thing we come our, to? Our sister was not one of the was not the female in the party. Yeah. No, she's storing our stuff though. Onet Public Library. Use the library more! Exclamation point. Good idea. I use the library like, all the time. Yeah, it's pretty cool. A library is a nice place to learn stuff. I got a lot of info about Earthbound. Mm -hmm. You can borrow maps for nothing. Only maps, not books. Let's go get a map. All right. We'll talk to this lady with long blonde hair. Looks very nice. Hi, do you know where the sanctuary is? Can I have a map Hi. to get there? Kids can only borrow uh, can borrow only maps at this library, so it's not a very effective like with the whole books thing. No, I guess yeah. not. Yeah, you can look at the books maybe, but you can't borrow them. Yeah, you I want, want to, to borrow, borrow one. Map. If you say no, she'll say this: "A man without a map isn't popular with the girls." <laughs> that makes. Do you want one? <laughs> what? What? That could get censored too. Oh, yeah, well, if you want one now, we'll say yes. Believe it or not, she actually will not let us leave without taking one if we talk you to her. You are she'll going say, to have a map. Whether you yeah, like she'll it say the not, same... Young man. She'll, she'll say the same thing about with the girls over and over again. Here's a map. Onet isn't the only thing on the map. We'll see other towns on the map. Cool, and, let's look at the map. And, well, not yet, but once we get there, we'll see other towns. And this is another really great line. All the info is there, except for the info that isn't there. <laughs> <laughs> like every other map in the world. Yeah, pretty much. Just figure out where you are and you're never lost. Pressing the X button allows you to view the map at any time. How convenient. You know, the X button located near the top. <laughs> ah. That's got the town map, yep. Now, this library has a few other interesting where things. where you are and you're never lost. That's a great line, too. Exactly. That's what my father always yeah. said. So there's, so there's other that people hanging sense. out in the library. And they say, at Giant Step, we've heard about that, there's a monster guarding that spot from the outside world. No one knows when the monster made Giant Step its territory. I wonder if he's stronger than my wife. Um, okay. <laughs> right? Can tell maybe he's a little henpecked? <laughs> Making fun of yeah. his wife. And the other guy just says, dot, 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 a man of few words. It's useless talking to him now. Honestly, not sure if he says things later in the game if you come back here. I'll have to check. Or, yeah, or if that was censored as well. If you go upstairs, you can see the doors with the red and blue. Those are bathrooms, but you can't use them because this guy always runs into the men's room before you get there. Ah. He does, however, say, uh, no, I'm in here. Don't try to come in, especially if you don't need to use the bathroom. That's uh, funny. I like to go into this upper room of the library. Nobody you really pays attention to this. Uh, the, the ladies' room? I'm sorry. Yeah. Are we going to try and go in there? Well, I just wanted to see if it would give you a dialogue box about, like, No, you can't come in here. Don't talk to me. I'm thinking. Oh, uh, okay. So it's occupied as well. I feel like we all do a fair amount of thinking in that room. The extra meditation chamber. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe I'll use that. But yeah, if you come into this upper room here, which is kind of out of the way, you can find out some other information. I can't dancing. believe I, I can't believe I saw it with my own eyes. I was staring out the window, and there it was, just fluttering there. I'd only seen it in the encyclopedia before. What was it? A magic butterfly. If you oh, get close cool. to a magic, if you get close to a magic butterfly, all your cares fly away, just like a fluttering butterfly. Yeah, he's really going for a tongue twister here. Yep, yep, that's the effect of the legendary magic butterfly. I love mm. talking about it. Oops. Sorry about the outburst. I got carried away with all talk of lovely butterflies. But yeah, that's actually a game mechanic where if you see a magic butterfly and touch it, it'll say it made you relax and it restores your PP for free. 
Aha. Yes. Yes, because there has to be a way to restore your PT. Your psychic points, yep. And this yes. guy says, I'm researching Giant Step. It's located north and west of Onet. That's the clue. I heard it possesses special power. Well, that's cool. All right, so, so north and west. If we didn't then, have a map, we'd still be able to go to the north and the west. Yep. We'd explore around till we found it anyway. Uh, the a right. is the a is the ATM in this room? No, it's just some other lady. I'm cramming for the big test tomorrow. It's about games. Hotel rule: If you stay at a hotel, you'll wake up with full HP and PP. Life recovery rule: Recovering oh. your life will give you full HP but zero PP. Hmm. Oh. I bet the stuff will be on the test. That's clues nice. because if you die. Yeah, and have to re mechanics. Yeah, if you die and have to recover that way, um, you won't have any PP. You have to stay at the hotel to get PP recovery. Now, remember that house from earlier that was kind of hidden yeah. among the trees? I sure well, let's do. Go Is to it the, back here? Let's go to the left of the library and see. No problem yes. here. I'm doing watch out duty for the hideout. Oh, the hideout. We take over. Yeah, I'll take over. Just kidding. Being watch out is my job. <laughs> but nice. if you go to the right and through these trees, you can There's find a the house. Hideaway. Yes. That's the house. Pathway. It's the clubhouse. And house. this is a out. very this is a very important location. A, because there's some people to talk to, and B, you'll see. I had a dream about you, and you were traveling with a cute girl. If the dream comes true, say hi to her for me. After all, I'm single. <laughs> yep, oh, that's our reward. So. And this guy whose hat is covering his eyes. You've grown since I last saw you. You're beginning look to look like a man. You're so cool. I think I really like you. Well, you know what I mean. Nope. have no idea. <laughs> and this kid with the red hat... I'll give you my Mr. Baseball cap. I know you've wanted it for a long time. It's the best cap for someone really brave like you. And as oh. you said, you love baseball caps. So do I. We got the Mr. Baseball cap. And if we so go into, yeah, if we go equipment. into equip, it's like armor. Well, we have body, arms, okay. and other. For some reason, mm -hmm. it doesn't say hats or head. It just says other. Mm -hmm. If we equip it, we go from two to eight. In the defense. defense. Nice. So that is why that it's is worth going out of our way. Magnificent. Maybe it's a maybe it's a batter's hat. Like it's a uh, like, like what uh, a, the helmet kind of. Yeah, batting helmet. That's what. Yeah. Kind of, has, kind of like the side thing around the mouth, so it didn't, you don't get hit in the mouth, and it's based yeah. on which which arm, yeah. which side of the bat they stand on. There. You, yeah. There you go. There's another crow up here, but um, yeah, let's get him. Uh, Want to get him? Let's, let's get see. Is, no, I think snake. he's gone. Nope, he's there. Da -da -da -da. There's probably some music. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. So we have 29 um, hit points. That's our max now. Yep, and we're doing more damage because we leveled up. We hit for 15 damage. So That's we great. should be able to finish this in just two turns. There we go. Well, that's nice. And, of course, he left another cookie. Exactly. And we're going to eat we, that cookie because um, it, we'll heals, or we'll it heals. We'll top off our points. Yes, only 6 HP. It's the weakest recovery item. Well, Notice we got to keep our inventory clear too. So Exactly. There's a little mole popping his, he's popping his head out. He has a little uh, miner's mole. cap on. I'm not an enemy. I'm simply your average run-of-the-mill mole. Nice. Would you like some hints on fighting enemies? Sure. Listen carefully. My hint involves which way you are facing when a battle with an enemy occurs. If you allow enemies oh. to approach you from your back or side, that may they may get a surprise opening attack. When they approach you this way, your TV screen... Uh, no, no. I mean the world in front of you will show a red swirl for a second. A little bit of fourth wall breaking there. Okay. On the other hand, if you would appro approach an enemy from the back or side, you may get a surprise opening attack, and then you'll get the green swirl so uh 
if we sneak up on an enemy, we get a first attack on them where they can't do anything, but they also can do it to us. Like if we're trying to run away and they run up behind us, they get an attack on us. So gray is just neutral. Green is, is neutral. good for us. Red is not. Yep. It's called back gotcha. attacks. Cool. Another sign. Ooh. Uh oh. But before that happens, attacked by runaway a rabid dog. dog. Runaway dog. Oh, I never thought of that, but you might be right. This that makes it scarier now with the bat biting attack. <laughs> yeah, is there poison damage in this game? Yes. Oh, we got a smash for 31 damage. Uh, yes, but not till way later. Yeah. You'll see. You'll see. It, believe it or not, it actually is another dog enemy. The first one that has the poison status ailment. But um, cool. You'll see, you'll see why in particular it's scarier. <laughs> Giant step. North, We're here. at the top of the mountain. Danger, do not enter. Well, it's telling us not to enter, but if I go up here, we see another sign that says don't enter. And these two guys. And a snake. I heard there's a big footprint on the hilltop behind this shack. I haven't even seen it myself. It's just a rumor. A big footprint sounds like a giant step. This shack was locked by someone from City Hall, so we can't use it. The reason it was closed was because of because uh, a punk named Frank may have trashed the place. What a drag. <laughs> we can't even change our clothes, and hotels are too expensive. Yeah, we actually punk do have to pay to stay in hotels. Frank, Zappa? Frank what? A punk rocker named Frank Zappa, maybe? <laughs> maybe. Uh, but yeah, if we try and go in, the door is we locked. We have to go so to City Hall to find a key and then come back. Absolutely. Traveling oh, Entertainer God. Shack. So, we've just seen the library and kind of followed this road. But, if we went south of the library, you could see... And remember we got the map? Yes. We're, how useful is that at this moment? I'll press, press X and we X can see. Button. Let's see if what's on the map. That is Onet. Nice. You so, can see where's the, the hotel? At the very top, we can see our house and Pokey's house. So we've traveled down here, but look how much there is. We got a hospital, we got a food, we got a shop. Yeah, either the hospital or the hotel or the food or the shop. Any of this stuff. We haven't done any, any of this stuff. Thing. So let's go. Oh, there's a trash can. What's the thing to do? You never know what might be in there. Dig in the trash can. Well, let's see here. There's a hamburger the inside. Oh, Ness gosh. takes it. Ugh. Believe it or not, no, some seriously, yes, are... don't eat that. <laughs> well, actually, no. If you go in the burger shop, they sell hamburgers, and that is equivalent to the one that's inside the shop in the in the garbage can. It's the same amount of health recovery points. Yeah. If we go in here, we can see. Um, don't you think you get more food value out of fourteen bucks worth of burgers than eight bucks worth of French fries? You'll feel better and more energetic if you eat better foods. You know, you'll recover more health if you eat more expensive food. I get it. Yeah. Because if you talk to her, hello, may I take your order? Smile, smile. What can oh, I get for you? This is Can't definitely the juice... 90s. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Even yeah, with this pastel you don't color. Get that smile, smile anymore. <laughs> nope. We got the pastel, like. The, the yeah, pink the and white. Juice. Nice. The pink and white checkers behind the menu. That's yeah, that, I like you know, it. Yeah, that's retro. Can of fruit juice, cup of coffee, bag of fries, and a hamburger, which is the best item. But we don't have too much money, so maybe we'll come back a little later. Yeah. Is there an ATM in here? Nope. No. It's in the hotel. That would be convenient, though. It seems like I'm always here. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm so much more relaxed here. They never ask me, would you like fries with that, Jake? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny okay that's funny we can talk to this guy he whose shirt is with that shake because that was a line that was like a pickup line did you ever it was. hear that one yeah but like i like fries, fries with my with frosties shake? from wendy's fries dipped in chocolate frosty that's best i've heard of that yeah. now he's given us some helpful information the arcade yeah. is full of sharks i can't play there so if you want to contact the sharks, that's where you go, to the arcade. 
Oh, we had another dog, but this one is not an enemy. Bow nice. wow! Don't you think you'll be needing a weapon? Did you know that the drugstore sells things you can use? Not Weapons? drugs, fortunately. At the I knew about it. No, 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 no. Weapons. It's a drugstore. Again, we called things drugstores instead of pharmacies. Like, CVS has a lot of stuff now. Mm. Here's the hotel. Hotel Onet. $35 per night for a single room. Wow, is that's expensive. Yeah. We also have some other buildings here that we can't really go in. Say something funny. I'll listen. Blah, 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 blah. Mm, I can't wait any longer. I'm going back to watching the news. It's funnier than you. Wow. There's a lot of buildings here that even though you can't go in, they have a funny line that plays. And this nice. one right here on the right, next to this trash can, there's a sign. Break the course of violence. Don't break the wind of change. Fresh breeze <laughs> movement. You, you can tell the joke there. Yep. Yeah, it's kind of a play on words. That's funny. What's the mailbox do? Uh, the mailbox, I don't think, does anything. No. Uh, but this building here is perhaps one of the most famous um, lines or inside jokes in the game. Okay, pop quiz. A Beatles song. X, 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 today. Can you fill in the blanks? Yesterday. Exactly. Yes. So if you say yes, yesterday. that's correct. I'm impressed. Very but cool. if you talk to him again... Oh, wait. Or if you have to check it again. No! Oh, wait. Do you have to... Okay, there it goes. Okay, Pop Quiz Beatles song. If you say no, he says... Bzz. A Beatles song, no today. Wrong. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the answer is the answer. Uh, we can cool. go to the hotel, but we can't do anything here except... Let's go to the ATM. Exactly. Get our money. Welcome Where do to you the call... automatic... Where do you call dad so you can save backup? Oh, there's a phone in here and one in the drugstore. Some of oh, them are cool. pay phones, though. So we're going to withdraw enough. We have $74. Beating Whoa, enemies gives 74? us... 74 Giving a, uh, beating enemies gives us money. So, cool. So we are going to withdraw... Actually, oh. no, I don't think I want to stay in the hotel because we need no. enemy to... Uh, we need uh, money to purchase weapons. So we're going to go to the drugstore first. Yes. And then I will save from there and I think we'll... Actually, no, come to think of it, the one thing we were supposed to do but didn't was City Hall. Oh yeah, let's go to City Hall because we want to get the key so that when we resume this. Rumor has it that the shark's boss is hanging out near the giant step. Oh, cool. But that's just a rumor, so... Should we believe it? Well, there's a monster there, so is the shark's boss the monster, or is he hanging out with the monster? Well, let's see here. Oh, aren't you Ness? This is school holiday today? Have you done your homework? Remember to brush your teeth before going to bed. Have you been wetting your bed? What, what's with all these personal questions, dude? Jeez. Dude. I'm really... A, I, I don't know. Maybe... I, don't, I honestly don't know why this random person. I'm really in a foul mood. Why? Because the mayor doesn't like me. I think I'll just kick back for a while. It just may take a couple of hours to sign this paper. <laughs> He's got a big smile on his face. Yep. I think he's probably the poster child for those that work at the DMV. It's the, uh, what do they call that now? Um, uh, silent quitting, is that what it's called? Or something like oh, that? Oh, perhaps. I don't think I've heard of uh, that, but that sounds or, very passive nah, aggressive. that's not the right phrase, but it's this, it gets the, the thing across. If, yeah, if we check the sign on the wall, it says, Aren't you yeah. stuck? If you want a hint, come and get it. Eagle okay. Land Hint Union. There's actually a service oh. of a guy that will pay and he'll give you hints of what you need to do next. But we're not going to uh, use it unless we absolutely have to. Yeah. We know what we there need are, to do next. There are lots of snakes and stray dogs around Onet. Is the mayor just going to let them run around doing whatever they want? I'm here to protest. There's always that guy. Yeah. He should be making a sign or something. And then again, there's also always that girl. And that's this woman. 
Some suspicious looking kids are hanging out in the woods north of the library. I wonder if they're members of the Sharps. To stop the spread of the gang, someone should shut down their gathering places. Don't you think? I've started a movement that will stop all of the bad influences on the children of Onet. I call it the Fresh Breeze Movement. Humdy dum. <laughs> mm. That was what we saw nice. on that sign a few minutes ago. Yes. Did, that, uh, did I tell you that I saw a giant ant one time at Giant Step? There's the monster. Oh, sorry. I did ant mean to spoil it for you. Did ant. Yep. I work for City Hall, but somehow Mayor Perkle bugs me. Let's keep this between you and me. So that's the mayor's name. Yeah, Perkle. We don't have any openings for part-time employees at this time. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So to tie that in, there was a sign uh, on a sandwich board in front of the drugstore, right? Or, you know, whatever you want to call it, pharmacy, Rite Aid, uh, near my house. And so at one point, this is last year, it said, accepting all positions. And so I thought it'd be funny to walk in and say, I'd like to be a pharmacist, please. And they say, wait, oh. what do you, and I said, no, you said all positions. <laughs> like, well, no, we were thinking more like a cashier. No, 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 no. You said all positions. <laughs> I want to be a pharmacist now. <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah. That would be a fun conversation. That's like when they ask you on the job application position you're seeking and like, you're supposed to write down, but like, if you already have a help wanted sign saying what you need, then what is the point of putting something else down? Like, what am I supposed to put? I guess if there were more than one position, but Emperor yeah. of the Universe is really, really <laughs> seeking. This is just maybe, a stepping stone towards that maybe, position. <laughs> maybe I'll do that next time. No, That'll I probably shouldn't. That'll get you the interview, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> the mayor's office is on the second floor. You need an appointment before you visit. I'm going to have to stop you if you try to see the mayor. Funny thing is, she doesn't. But... He has a cop for That's security. Awesome. The, mayor is, the mayor is busting his butt with all the troubles in town. Oh, like the sharks language. and the meteorite. Hey, are you the guy who's trying to reform the sharks? <laughs> wahoo, wahoo, wahoo. You've got to be kidding. Scram. Wait, mm -hmm. wait, so, okay reform the sharks as in turn them from their evil ways or reform the sharks like make the sharks like into a cohesive unit again that could be read a couple different ways oh well no i think they already are together so i don't think we would need to do that right but yeah we're gonna start encountering the sharks soon and uh we talked to the one guy who said they hung around the arcade That'll so be for next time, though. Yeah, so we didn't get the key. We need to do that. If it's one of your just... friends... Be... What? No, it's okay. If one of your friends becomes unconscious... You should visit them at the hospital. You should check with the nurse receptionist, and she will release your friend. It's a nice thing to remember, but it's all right if you forget. Yeah, just forget your friend that's in the hospital. That's kind so of basically, sad. if one of our party members goes health points go to zero, we can go pick them up at the hospital. Exactly. If you have any trouble, consult your kind-hearted mayor, who does not have time for us, apparently. Yeah, like, let, we can't get past the security guard. Although we did mm. get past the secretary. Got a guy with dreadlocks here. A girl named Paula lives in Tucson. Her mother runs a preschool out of their home. Ah, uh, Tucson! I get exactly, it. we're in... Onet, O-N-E, one, one yeah. and then Tucson. That's the next town once we finish everything here. Mm. I heard about, I forget the name of the school, but I heard Paula's really special. Why is she special? I forgot to ask. Oh, well. Well, we named her. That's why she's like special. It. Yeah. Any named there... NPC is, is a possible candidate for a, uh, a companion. We go inside this purple house over here. This guy. I, City I Hall is to the east. House. You know where the sun rises. <laughs> that's not well, the that's most good. helpful thing because we can. No, we but can't at least really we know that these kids know yeah. astronomy. Yeah. We can't really see the sun in this game, Crow. Uh oh. 
So at least they didn't notice get the, the attack on us. Yeah. Notice some enemies have kind of a funny movement pattern. The crows are one of them. They just kind of fly in circles until you reach them. And then they attack. Yep. Packed our eyes. Ouch. Now we became I'm tame. So we I'm don't kill a... these animals. We tame them. Exactly. I almost put an uh, I almost put an eye out at work the other day. Someone had stuck oh, no. like a pot on the shelf in a way that it was sticking out. The handle was sticking out weird. And then when I bent down, I was like, "Oh my god, that was really close." Whoa! I moved here from the t uh, I moved here from the way, way, way away next town. In the next town, there is the what is the name? Uh, Polar Star Preschool. Preschool is at Paula's house. Paula uses, what is it called? Uh, magic. Hmm. So she is special. She has some problems. <laughs> I don't think there's anything oh, at this right. orange house. Oh, no, we can go in. But there's no one home. Huh. And then there was one other house here. I think it, well, no, I don't want to find a snake. I think it was on the right? Over here? If you're trying to sell us a newspaper, go away. Uh, we don't read the huh. paper. And we don't want yeah. any milk either. <laughs> that is definitely the 90s. Nobody reads the newspaper. All right, In let's fact, find I the drug. The newspaper around here is only on Sundays, man. Yeah, I get, uh, we get ours kind of like a smaller version in the mail on Thursdays. Can't mm -hmm. go in this house either. The drugstore is to the east. East is the opposite of west. <laughs> we have a lot of people okay. telling us about east, but not being super helpful. But we found yeah. it. All There's right. East. Let's talk well, to east, the people. You know, they're, they're assuming that the orientation is, you know, up for north, down for south. So yeah, of course. Left, you know, is west. and Yeah, the little... Yeah. Okay. Hello there. How may I help you? I want you We buy. can buy, and we can also sell. Smaller cookies. So we have a few cookies. They're not super effective, so we can sell cookies for $3 a piece. Do it. So we can so sell. There's a little economy in here. You could sell yep. your cookies and buy hamburgers. Hamburgers are much more effective and they take up less space in your inventory. Exactly. So I'm just going to sell hey, all three cookies. This is advanced homebound. Okay, and then. I am going to see what you have. Oh, look in at order the drugstore, the way the U and the S are lined up. As in oh, US. Well. Oh, that's cool. Or uh, us. Yes. So she sells cold, cold remedy, remedy or she. I'll bet that probably gives you a lot of hit points. Uh it's actually no, it's it's recovery if you catch a cold in the game, but we're not gonna see that for a while. So we're gonna say so no. we know where to go now if we catch a cold. Mm -hmm. Or to the hospital, okay. too. They they heal it. Cool. Hi, come in, come in. What can I do for you today? You can Let's sell to him. Have to sell. He has a cracked bat? He yeah, bought bats. We already have a cracked bat. The t so bat we, is $48 and worth so more. We don't, we don't know what the stats are on these weapons until we uh, buy we, them. Exactly. But mm -hmm. you'll notice the little window at the bottom is flashing. Yeah. Yeah. That means it is a better item than what we have. So I love the idea that the cheap bracelet is ninety-eight dollars. That that cracks me up. So that yeah, obviously well, is some kind of magical or very effective item. It's going to uh, be in comparison because we're going to find a lot more expensive ones. So ninety-eight will be uh, cheap in comparison. And really, if you think about it, jewelry—if it's a high-quality yeah. jewelry, ninety-eight would be yeah. really cheap. So bra yeah, so bracelets are like a big deal in this game. So are they, is it ar like armor? Does it add to our exactly. armor or defense? It's nice. defense, yes. So, so it's like cap, Wonder Woman's bracelets. Pretty much, yeah. Collect bullets with them or something. The, <laughs> I'm not sure how well that worked, but it worked for her, so why not? <laughs> yeah, uh, I just saw the original movie. It was a little over the top, but <laughs> that's okay. Uh, there was a, a parody on... Wonder Woman um, from a comedy group. It was like Batman and the other male superheroes were kind of making fun of Wonder Woman for like her outfit or whatever. And he's like, oh, I have these special bracelets that protect like two inches of my body. Mm -hmm. And then it, it was part of the sketch where his line is like, oh, I get all my clothes. I'll get I get all my superhero outfits from Forever 21. And he, <laughs> she's supposed to 
grab him and like smash his head into the table but like uh -huh. she the actress did it like too hard harder than they rehearsed for and actually kind of hurt and it stopped the scene for a minute where he's like dazed like i'm seeing bats because it's batman uh <laughs> like she actually accidentally hurt him oh my so, so don't have... make fun of the lesson is don't make fun of superheroes oh, yeah. no matter how scantily clad or unarmored of, they seem to of be. course and especially yeah. hulk that'd be the worst one yeah, that guy doesn't wear any armor, and he just wears purple pants, and he's fine. <laughs> so we have T-Ball Bat is a better weapon. Yo-Yo is a is another stronger weapon, but it's not accurate, so we don't really go for those. Baseball Cap, not as good as the Mr. Baseball Cap. Mm. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to sell... Sell the Cracked Bat and buy the bat Baseball Bat? For $9. That's it. And we are going to get to the ATM. We're going to withdraw out of our $79. Let's do 60 Just enough that we can buy this. We've taken our cash. Why, why wouldn't we take all of it? Is it because something may rob us of our well, cash? if we lose... Point? The game mechanic is if you lose a fight, you lose half the money that is on you. Oh, if it's in the, I see. If it's in the ATM, you can't lose it. That's a big deal. Okay. So we're going to buy the T-Ball bat for $48. And we can't put money in the bank. We just can take it out. Oh, yeah. We can deposit it back. Yes. Oh. Nice. Ness's offense changed from 5 to 13. Wow. Anything else that we can... Yeah, that's a big improvement. We could buy... Huge. Well, we... we can't afford the cheap bracelet, so no. So we sold the crack bat for 9 So we sold it for half price, basically. Yes. So that's basically... And... An idea of what the exchange rate is probably. So if we yep. sell, it's it's a it's item a used item. Half. You've used you've used it to hit several things in the head. So well, not only that, but I mean these are you know we're in it's capitalist. It's, you know I of mean course. this is a place where like you know we're not going to sell buy something for what we're going to sell it for in the future. We won't make any money. Yeah, got to keep the so lights makes, on, right? Got to pay employees. Sense. Uh, we're going to talk to this guy who says, Hey, I know your hard-earned cash is important to you, but you should call your mom. She's probably got an ulcer from worrying about you. Instead, we'll call our dad and we'll say We'll the call game. both. Why not? <laughs> now let's talk to the dog again. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. I'm Rafini the dog. I'm being possessed by the spirit of the game designer. Ruff. Oh my... Do you see the window showing HP and PP at the bottom of your screen? When you go to a store that has equivalent items, the window will either flash, look normal, or become black. This is what I was telling you a minute ago. If you're allowed to equip an item that is stronger than your current item, it will flash. If it's equal to or less than your current, it will look normal. If you can't equip it, the window is black. I thought you'd like to know. Now it's time to become a regular dog again. That's useful to know about the non-equipable items. So it says drugstore, it says US and then GT. If yeah, you have I don't know them what the GT stands for. And we also have a picture of a pineapple in the background and some mountains on the poster. But yeah, we'll use the payphone oh, yeah. to call dad. Deposited $49 into your bank account. Take Thank away what you. You've, what you've spent, you should now have $19 in the bank. Well, XP to get to the next level. We are only nine away from the level up. You will record our game. All done. Your dear old dad was also thinking of hitting the hay for the night. I've created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night. Sleep tight. Uh, you like to work hard like your mother. But I don't think it's good to work too hard. <laughs> He's wise. And we'll also He's call right. mom. Uh, yeah, very true. But we'll also call mom because it's actually critical you do this. Because this is how you can also call Tracy to store your stuff. Mm. Is that you, Ness? You called me back sooner than I thought. Everyone here is well, doing just fine. Should we have called Mom before we called Dad? Because if Dad's saving the game, will this end up saving... Or is this after... Oh, or does probably there, right. Is there a save point for both? You're probably right. Yeah. But Dad's I, I can the just save call... Point. The Mom's the uh, cargo... Okay, I gotcha. can just call I can just call dad back afterwards. Oh yes, mm -hmm. Tracy, our sister's name is Tracy, by the way, started working part-time for the Escargo Express. 
Ooh, Here, I'll let you talk to her. And call me when you have some time. Oh, you don't have any free time? Well, here's Tracy. <laughs> we have we have free time. Don't worry. I'll always call my yeah, mom. Yeah, I always got time to talk to mom. Hello, this is Escargo Express. Oh, is that you, Ness? Big bro, it's me, Tracy. I'm working part-time for Escargo Express. Escargo, which means snail, which means it's a oxymoron, snail express. Mm -hmm. Like slow and very fast. Very cool. Uh, like the so, U.S. Post Office. So pick up or, yeah, snail mail, right? So, so if we pick up, we... If we what pick we up, we can look at our objects and take something out of our inventory, our stored inventory. And exactly. If we deliver, we're putting something into our cold storage, basically. Our exactly. Storage. Uh, exactly. I didn't even need to. Is tell there you. anything we want to put in our long-term storage? I can't think of anything. Mm, well, I don't think we have anything to pick up because I don't think there's anything in there. Actually, you might have gotten it backwards. Pick up is they're coming to pick something up from you so you can put uh, it away. Delivery is they're delivering it to you. Uh, I see now. Yeah, you want us to store something for you, it says. Okay. So we'll send someone over immediately to pick it up. Okay, we're not so actually going to... We're actually. It takes just a minute for them to get here. We're not actually going to do it because it, it costs $18. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Also, if you know... If you notice on Town Hall, in with like the little swirls at the top of the building, you can yeah. see like a little face, like the mayor's face. Okay. At the bottom. Oh. I've just never noticed that before. Oh, yeah, sort of. Okay, yeah. In with the curly cues. Hello, yeah. this is Escargo Express. Your delivery charge is $18. You can cover the bill, right? No. No. Oh, I see. Please try us again. Goodbye. Bye. What I was going to do yeah. is perhaps deposit the soundstone because you actually can do that. So it's not taking up space, but we don't really have to. No, we like to have the soundstone. And we're just going to call Dad one more time to save. Also notice we have Escargo Express as a sep uh, separate number so we can call our mother and our sister. Nice. All right. We are saving next time. We will continue on with the game. We need to defeat the Sharks and their leader in order to get the key from the mayor. Oh. At least that seems like what we need to do next. Yeah, and we'll also, definitely. We'll also get up enough money to buy that cheap, quote-unquote cheap, bracelet and increase our defense. That is on the agenda. Sounds good. Click, Click. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Oh, that's the old-timey uh, payphone. Beep. Yep. The one, in the, the one in the hotel, you don't actually have to pay. If the phone is black, mm. it's free. If it's green, you have to pay. A buck, one dollar. So we had to pay here? Yep, this is green. Oh, uh, gotcha. But the ATM is free to use. All right. Well, that's good, because that's not always true anymore. All right, cool. So that's well, the end of... This is a fun little game. Yeah, I remember these kinds of uh, games from a long time. I haven't played one of these in a while. But um, yep, it's yeah. it's an RPG role playing. Well, I love RPGs. But... Yeah, we'll get to role play as all four of the characters eventually. Yeah, so it's like a team. Yes, I get it. So mm -hmm. like you'll have a party, and then each person in the party is a specialist at a certain thing. And then, exactly. Yep, that's good. Awesome. All right. Well, it's a lot so, of fun. yeah, and I had a great time doing this with you today. If you are watching this at the end of one episode or two or however many parts this gets edited into, once again, please like and subscribe and we will be back soon with the next part. And we'll continue making progress in this game. Thanks for watching today and have a great rest of your day. Bye.